As a founding dean of the Shepherd's School of Music, Samuel Jones established a compelling vision for musical excellence at Rice, and his legacy echoes far and wide with the success of past, current, and future Rice musicians. During the school's humble beginnings, Samuel, an accomplished composer and conductor, crafted a guiding philosophy that would later solidify the unique culture of the Shepherd School. He ensured equal importance was placed on cultivating creative talent and on encouraging Rice's culture of curiosity, resulting in a first-of-its-kind experience that combined a conservatory curriculum with the liberal education of a leading research university. After leading the school as dean for six years, Samuel continued to serve as a professor and as director of graduate studies, influencing a new generation of successful conductors and composers. Thanks in large part to his leadership, inspired instruction, and accomplished artistry, the Shepherd School is now one of the most prestigious university-level programs in the country. As one nominator noted, our former students perform and teach in many of the world's finest ensembles and schools on five continents. The success of our graduates started with our founding dean, Samuel Jones. It is with great appreciation that we recognize Samuel L. Jones with the Meritorious Service Award. Well, I'm deeply appreciative of this wonderful honor that Rice and all of you people have bestowed upon me. I, I, however, want to broaden it, not just for me, but to include everyone involved with the Shepherd School, particularly from those early years when we got it all going, back in 1975, I think the year was. Uh, but it was, at that point, Rice had no music, or no music school, had a little department. And now, of course, it has grown and, and bloomed into one of the great music schools of the country and indeed the world. And um, it was such a joy to have a part in getting it all started. I was so pleased that I accepted uh, President Hackerman's invitation and um, the result has been really, for me, nothing short of magnificent. And from everything that I hear from colleagues and friends from all over the world, it uh, has mattered elsewhere as well. There are lots of people who have been important to this. There was a group of four faculty members that helped me set up the original curriculum, Paul Cooper, Ann Schnabel, and Albert Tipton, and Ronald Patterson. And um, uh, then others came aboard that were tremendously important. Art Gottschalk, Paul Ellison, Ray Flegel, oh bless Ray Flegel's heart, who did so much for music in Houston. And uh, each dean who has followed me was the perfect, absolute perfect person for the job at that point. And, uh, the school has been blessed with a stellar faculty, still is, and uh, gifted students from day one. And uh, now, of course, they're populating, uh, helping to populate orchestras and, and uh, concert stages all over the country and the world. I, sometimes students say to me, um, when they come back to the school, they say, particularly the ones who were there before the buildings were built. And they, are, they can't believe how wonderful the, the new buildings are. And I say to them, you contributed a line of those bricks and, and the school wouldn't be what it is without the, your accomplishments and your seriousness and your great talent. So a wonderful journey and the honor that goes to me today doesn't go just to me, it goes to all of us.